What's up, cousins? It's your girl, Jetta the Go-Getter, and I am here with another collective reading, but we are about to play That's So Random. Now, I want to say shout out to Pisces because y'all had the most watched videos. Appreciate it. Um, Sagittarius, y'all be lighting it up. Appreciate it. Scorpios, I don't know what's wrong with you, but you better come on. Y'all better represent. I don't know. Y'all be getting bonus readings and stuff. So now what I'm going to do is whoever's Zodiac sign has the most views, I'm going to do you a bonus reading at the end of the month. So get them views up. Come on. I want to go live. I'm ready. I'm ready to go live with y'all on here. But I got to have a thousand followers. So help me get there so we can do this. Now, we're going to play that so random. Y'all know if you don't know. If you're new to my page, welcome. Come on in. Hey, y'all. What's up? I'm Jetta, and we play this game called That's So Random. I'm going to pick four cards. You pick a number, one through four, right? You can pick all of them if you want to, and because I'm pretty sure something will resonate if you decide to. It just worked that way. But pick your number, one through four, and um, I'm going to do a reading on each card see what's going on and it's random because i'm gonna do oracle cards because my cousins on my tiktok side they was like we like it when we put down the oracle cards and then we do the tarot so we got like this little thing you know and like if you come and see me like in person we play like if it's a room full of people i give i put some cards on the table and each person pick their own card you randomly pick it and then i'll do you like a mini reading like maybe three to six cards or whatnot. Look, game we play at the party, you know. You know. Chilling, kicking it with my cousins. That's it. So, now, if you don't been to my page before, you already know what I'm going to say. If you don't want to hear what I got to say on my page, take your finger like this and scroll that thing up like this. And I'm going to shoot way up there somewhere. And you're going to have to do like this to try to find me. But you ain't going to do that because you didn't want to hear what I had to say in the first place. So again, if you don't want to hear or see what I have to say on my page, take your finger like this and scroll that thing up like this. And you will not hear or see anything over here. And it is just that simple. All right. Let's get into it. Y'all pick y'all number. You ready? I already pre-shuffled, but I always like to shuffle a couple more times on the camera. But yes, I do pre-shuffle. Right. And and when it comes to the main energy cards, the four cards, I don't take the ones that flip over because I want to be just as surprised as you just in case it might be a message in there for me. So I take the ones that are face down or else I'll pat them out myself and just pick them out. So I just want to get a good, good, good shuffle because I want to see what the energy is today. Ah, let's say follow your heart. All right, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Okay, we got our four cards. Let me put two, three, and four over to the side. All right, number one, go your car. You ready? Number one, you got go now. Where the hell are you going? Let's find out who going. Dun, dun, dun. Where you going and who going? And when they coming back? <laughs> Holy Spirit, angels, God's ancestors, give us messages of clarity and truth, please. Messages of clarity and truth. Number one, it says go now. It says go now. Who need to go and where they going? Messages of clarity and truth, please, Spirit. Who need to go and where they going? Y'all, look, somebody is definitely going some damn well. Look. 
they're not okay somebody's not giving in to somebody's about to leave the situation they're not gonna give in to somebody anymore like this shit over with and they're not heartbroken about it they're going towards their wish fulfillment they can see clearly now like oh i am not the hangman is in reverse i am not hung up no more i fucking get it i see it somebody was blind but now they see it seemed okay now check this out this is why i like cards nine of cups is about wish fulfillment right but you see that rat in that cup it's like right above up here that rat gonna get ready to jump in that cup and it's like dude happy as hell but this rat sitting over his cup just done fucked up the party might have something to do with a, a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces um, energy, a baby mama or something like that. Because look, Queen, look, now I showed you the Queen of Cups, now the Queen of Pentacles is out here. You want to, they want to go towards somebody they feel is more valuable. But they, they're the Knight of Pentacles in reverse right now. So it's like they're kind of scared or whatever. They, they really, got, they might be in the ball. Okay, you can go like this. Either they involved in the situation that they got to figure out how to get out of, or they scared to come towards this queen because they're only a knight. And they're like, maybe they done did something. They don't know if they can, if that person will accept them, but they still want to go towards them. Yeah, because look, they're not happy. The sun is in reverse. They are not happy and something has been illuminated wherever they gonna stop giving to they don't they don't found something out somebody don't found something out all right number one what's going on okay and look they're saying the wheel of fortune is in reverse i'm telling you y'all got major iconic cards and they all in reverse the sun in reverse, the wheel of fortune in reverse, the hangman in reverse. So this is like somebody, okay, for the major, I kind of like this for me, for me, to be in reverse like this, somebody manipulated the situation to try to make it seem like the spirit was, you know, on it or something. Like somebody might have fell for the okie doke. And they got tricked out of something because without this queen of pentacles now on this road, she the only one in the upright, the sun and the will of fortune in reverse. So it's like they need this person to get their happiness and to get their luck back. They need that person, whoever this is. I need two more spirit. Well, thank you. And looky here. Cause ain't nothing working out and they got a call and they feel like judgment is being called. Even the judgment card came out in reverse. So that is judgment in the favor of this queen of Pentacles. So this looked like somebody feel like in order for them to change and get their life back together the way they want it, they got to, they got to do something for this queen of Pentacles. What's at the bottom? Yeah. Because they realize that everything has been a lie. It's everything been a whole lie against the person that they want to come to. They, they not happy. They look upside down. Things ain't working out at their job. And now they, they realize this is their karma. Look, the Queen of Pentacles popped out again. On top of, look. So on, on the table, it's like this. Like, he trying to go towards the Queen of Pentacles, most definitely. He need to go towards her. He need to apologize. He need to take her a big ass apology. She at the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it doesn't matter if you're a knight in reverse. You need to offer this because look, that's why he's taking away his pentacle from this other situation because that is not love. And he's realizing that is not love. What he has right now is not love. Look, he wants his wish fulfillment. That's why he ain't fucked up. He want to go towards his family. Look, again, two of wands again. It's at the beginning. He is not confused no more. 
he is ready to leave. He wants his, he want to go from the nine of cups to the ten of cups. Like he had everything he thought he did, but he had a rat bitch right here on his tail. That rat bitch fucked up everything. So now he don't want to be bothered with her. So now he got to, he got to go from that nine. That was straight, but he got to get greater. Yes, look. But he think that the queen of pentacles ain't fucking with him. Like, he like, the one I want, man, she ain't fucking with me no more. I took too long. I did wrong, boy. I'm talking about, he in a, he, he sad, but spirit is telling you to go now. Look, I said spirit is telling you to go now, and look, the chariot came out. And it fell on top of the sun in reverse. When Major Arcana is coming out, to clarify Major Arcana, the one that's in the upright trumps the other one. So, the chariot is saying, go towards your happiness. You'll be surprised. You need to go towards it. Let's see what the Wheel of Fortune gets. It gets the moon in the upright. Another major arcana clarifying another major arcana and it coming out in the upright. So, it's like... You don't know. You think that your look is upside down, but it's something that you don't even know. You could very well go to this Queen of Pentacles and she could be waiting on you. You don't know because you're too scared to try. You acting like a knight. You better act like a king. You don't think they'll work with you because you walked away or, or they walked away. They gave up. You feel like they gave up. But look, you still have to give this apology, even if you ain't got nothing else to give. That cup is empty. You still need to apologize to this person. You have to find the strength to do that. Sometimes, I'm going to tell y'all, sometimes you could think a person is so mean and so tough and the only thing that they is is hurt. And the only thing that they want is an apology. This person right here, you're unhappy wherever you are. Or somebody in your energy it could be flip it. I don't know. I don't know you personally. So if it ain't you, it's your person, then say that's your person. If it is you, then say it's you. Only you'll know that. So check this out though. You want this person. You've come out as a knight of pentacles and a knight of cups. I mean, you got something to offer them and you have love for them. But right now you're moving on fear with the judgment falling in their favor. Whoever, flip, you know, whoever it is. But you already know that with this person, you can go from the nine of cups with, from with this rat bitch to the ten of cups, to the end all be all. This is everything you ever wanted. And it's right here. Next to the four of one, which is eleven eleven, which is next to the two of ones, which is on the same line as the two. You want this, and the way this card is looking, they want it too. Look, I picked this up. I shuffled. I told you I pre-shuffled. It says surrender at the bottom when I picked that up. I can release my need to control. You might need to release your need to control. You want to have such a control over this situation, but listen. You are not supposed to control your person. You're supposed to experience your person. That's why people be failing in these relationships. They think that they have to have a lock on them and it's got to be lock and key type love. No. Get to know that person. Love that person. All of this other shit, mm -mm. you're not doing it right. You can't control nobody. All right, number one. At the bottom of the deck, you got loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. Judgment. Again, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. List. Oh, it's another one here. 
Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Listen to this. You're being lonely right now. It's because of your imagination, because you're assuming some shit finna happen that ain't probably ain't even finna happen. You're calling judgment on a situation when you, judgment isn't even supposed to fall in your favor. It's falling in the favor of this other person. And you need to accept that. And if this is what you want, and if God showed you this vision, then you need to persevere and you need to conquer your fears and you need to go after what you need to go after. Do you understand? Number one, either this is what this person is feeling about you and they are coming towards you, or this is what you are feeling about this person and you need to go now. Okay? Don't get no clear than that. All right, that ended at, okay, we're starting 16 minutes for number two. Number two, number two, woo woo. If you're ready, if you're ready, let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's see what your card is. Number two. Okay, if you pick number two, you have mother, wife, sister, daughter. Mother, wife, sister, daughter daughter okay let's get into it messages of clarity and truth please for number two Ooh. messages of clarity and truth for number two please I told y'all I already pre-shuffled but I just like to mix them up a little bit on the camera Oh, okay, so y'all know King of Wands to me is King Dangling. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person. But it looks like mother, wife, sister, daughter, that somebody wants to come in, bossed up, and offer you something, but they don't know if you're going to take the offer. It's like a piggyback off of number one, I swear. Because they see you as the empress. You see that at the bottom? They looking at you like, oh my God, everything I need. <laughs> they want you, cause I want you. But look, y'all might have had some type of disagreement or some type of argument. Number two. But they really, really love you and you, lo you love them. Y'all soulmates. Y'all like, they feel it and you feel it. Y'all feel it. Both of y'all are like weak without each other. And I can't be without you, baby. And I'll be waiting up until you get home. <laughs> Thinking about each other, look, ready to take a leap of faith. Somebody, I'm telling you, this King of Wands, he ready to risk it all. He ready to come towards you, ma'am. He Look, and it's, it, it could be an Aries man because look, King of Wands represent Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and this is Aries energy. This is stepping out on faith and this is bossing up. He is like, I know that I did wrong. He did something wrong. He needs to apologize. But he love you. Y'all is soulmates. Got the lovers and tell me again. Tell me again, my baby. Oh, <laughs> this energy is so crazy because this man is like, I can feel it, girl. Mother, wife, sister, daughter, whoever you is. Baby, look, he been counting it up. He been thinking about it. He been like, this is when I look back over my life and I think things over. All of my good days. Y'all good days outweigh y'all bad days. Ooh, he is no longer thinking about coming. He on the way. Me, me outside. I be on the way. I be on the fast too, look. Girl, he about to come talk to you. Come and talk to me. <laughs> hey, look, on TikTok, they call it karaoke tarot, y'all. Because we'll sing a song over here, baby. We will sing a song over here if the energy is hidden, especially if I hid. Listen, because, listen, whatever, ooh, 
whatever the bad news, because this fell up under the, the bad news, whatever it was, it took away his heart, whatever. Like, he did not even think about it. It's like, look at how this curtain is right here. It reveals so much. And it's like, you know, cups represent emotions, and all his cups is flipped over now. All because of this bad news, whatever the fuck that was. And he, look, somebody could be married. Somebody could be getting a divorce. Yeah, because somebody was being jealous and vindictive. We got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody was jealous of some of some. Ooh, it fell out under the lovers. So somebody might have found out that dude really likes somebody else or some shit. Oh, shit. So dude really involved with somebody else, but he loved you. And, and they found out. They know it. And now, and that, that might be the bad news. Like, they found out. But now it's like he can't even hide it no more. He cannot hide his feelings no more. Oh, <laughs> the chariot. On the way, it fell up under the fool, baby. Because look, somebody betrayed. Look, oh my God, listen. The only person that's got a, the only sword on here is this bitch. This jealous bitch brought the only sword on the table. She's the backstabbing ass bitch. She hurt him. And look, it was all about money. She was being greedy and, and selfish. Oh, but look, they was, they was married. The king and the queen of swords is a, a but they're more like business partners. It's like, they the only ones in the tarot that's like, well, them and the hair front and the high priestess, because they like a spiritual couple, the hair front and high priestess, but the king and the queen of swords is more like they business partners. It's supposed to be working or whatever, but it might have turned into a relationship. But um, judgment is being called on that shit. Judgment being called on that, and somebody don't want somebody to walk away. And but somebody might end up going to jail because of them doing like oh motherfucker look I just said the high priestess and the and the hierophant are not another couple that's not married but they supposed to be like spiritual when they in the upright why they came out like this and the king and the queen of swords and it's about work. So this is basically saying these people weren't even supposed to be together in the first place. This was supposed to be about some money. And then this person got jealous. This woman right here got jealous. And now they get they tied up. They got shit tied up together. That's why it's like the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords, they both about walking away. It's like somebody can't walk away right now because of some work. This is totally and completely got something to do with money. Money, 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 money. Yes. But then look, somebody did something against the child. You see that fish in the cup? This is like bad news and this is involving a child. And it was like some type of secrets or something like that that had done came out. So... Because I went on the bottom of the deck, that's the clarification for number two. Because you, your shit too strong, honey. I'm not, honey, number two. Um, mother, wife, sister, daughter. You don't figure something out. You don't find something out or some information coming towards you. But this dude is about to leave whoever this evil bitch is. Because she the only one that came to the table with a knife. And like he had to come up in the, in the mix of it with his knife after her. So, woo, number two. Oh, and then body not here, body not here, body just got me a body and somebody got here. Number three, let's see. Number three, we got yoga. Let me see you do that yoga pose. Okay, I'm going to use these here. What's going on with yoga for number three? 
what's going on with yoga number three okay number three got yoga what is it that you need them to know about yoga oh okay so good hold on get a couple more out so i can see what it's going so far you got a 10 and an ace so this is a very strong message Ooh, a very strong message. This is my God. This has something to do with work and your finances. Okay, okay, look, y'all. Number three, this is definitely about career and finances, okay? Right now, you are a vibrant, magnetic, determined woman, generous, philanthropic. We got the queen of wands here in the upright. This is very beautiful person. This is a go-getter, go-getter, go-getter. This is one of my cousins right here. There have been a lot of burdens and responsibilities and hard work what other people think type situations going on in your life. But you have mental clarity and victory and strength and adversity. You ain't breaking down because of nothing nobody fucking saying. You don't give a fuck. Your talents turn into professional doings. Groundwork and you've been working. Bitch, you've been working. No matter what they think. Power skills, action manifesting and concentrating. You've been also manifesting some things to turn around in your life put you on a book because you're a born leader entrepreneur and visionary mind you the king and the queen of wands are here on the table so either you just went from the queen to the king or you about to meet somebody that's about to put you at that next level status it says don't give up break free avoid arguments somebody might be trying to come against you but you're at a edge of a breakthrough it's saying have self-control and logic protective you got the emperor here boss the fuck up marriage celebration passage of right establishment or project rest before the next stage it's funny because it says rest before the next stage. And it's, and this is talking about like moving a house, 11-11, wish fulfillment. But then the next one is the um, meditation and retreat, the hermit, talking about resting. God has some of you in hiding and it's like hidden agenda, secrets, the high priest is in reverse. You don't even see this blessing finna get ready to come in. God has to hide you from certain people because it's some people that are out to harm you to mess up what you have so a situation might look like oh my god i'm losing this i'm losing that i'm i'm here i'm there all this stuff is going out the way no god is hiding you he need to get you away from some stuff he need to get you away from some people so he makes things look a certain type of way to certain people because he knows that's the story that they want to go and tell everybody but what they don't know is what they can't find out. And if you don't tell them, then they won't know. So right now you are being hidden. You need to meditate. You need to take this time to get your strength back up. Because when this pop off on this bottom row, the people that tried to deceive you, ooh we, they gonna be here for a rude awakening. They, they really going to be here for a rude awakening. Let me see what this soul source got to say. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Be grateful. Don't matter what nothing look like, be grateful for everything that's going on because God's redirection could be for your protection.
relationships. Uh oh, one fell on the ground. We have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Some of these relationships that you have, God has to take you away from them. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Sit tight. Sit tight. It might look bad, but it's all going to make sense in a minute. Sit tight. Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. You have to have empathy for yourself as well. If you had to quit that job, oh my God, look, I was going to say you had to quit that job and you felt bad about it, then you need to have empathy for yourself because that job could be about to lose its contract and then the people weren't going to get shit. You end up, you can claim something. Surrender pops up at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. I can I can release my need to control. So, number three. Don't trip. God's redirection could very well be for your protection. It might look bad right now, but give it a minute. Just give it, just give it three weeks. Just give it three weeks. And you was number three. I don't know. Spirit told me to tell you three weeks. So in three weeks, something is going to change for you. You're going to get some help. Don't worry about a sweetheart. Don't worry, Pat. Okay. Number four. Here we go. Number four, we have the power of joy. Power of joy. Let me see. Let me use the baby dick. Holy Spirit, ancestors, God, give me messages of clarity and truth. For number four, messages of clarity and truth, number four. All right. Well, if you just want me to read the whole damn day, then just say that. Oh, well, you did. And you said just that. Okay, I will not question thee. I will take what you say. Oh, wow. Okay, number four, here we go. Justice is about to fall in your favor. Whoever you is, number four. Somebody is about to rush in with some good news. But it's like they didn't want to put you in a third-party situation. It's still something.